Spurs starting a six-game rodeo road trip here in the Valley of the Sun. San Antonio with the third best record in the Western Conference at 34 and 21. And meanwhile, Phoenix struggling on the season and without its best player, Devin Booker, injured and not playing for the second straight night. Here's LaMarcus Aldridge headed to the All-Star game, gets the game's first basket. Well, he's been their rock. This is a San Antonio team that in the absence of Kawhi Leonard does not have a guy who can create shots for others playing the pick and roll. And so LaMarcus has had to really carry the offense consistently all year. Doris, he's averaging five more points per game this year than last year. Josh Jackson in the paint, no. Well, the Suns do struggle to score and shoot. They're 28th in the league in field goal percentage. Aldridge over Euless. Good recognition by Anderson to find him. It's also a struggle to defend. San Antonio has had trouble scoring out to a 9-0 lead. We're not yet four in. Minor deal involving uh, Hernan Gomez going uh, from the Knicks. Uh, Russell Wilson got traded, though, but it was a baseball trade. He went to the Yankees. That's the biggest trade news of the day as DeJounte Murray makes it 11-zip San Antonio. Well, that situation's been a real struggle for them defensively. Scoring without Devin Booker, the numbers drop by about five points per game. Now the Suns are the second youngest team in the league. The first 51 games of the year for San Antonio. Aldridge against Chris. And Aldridge just too powerful. 23 to 5, San Antonio. And Aldridge too much to handle on the low block. We'll see uh, Butler. We didn't uh, mention it on that schedule we showed you, but we'll see Butler make his uh, return to Chicago on Friday night. First time he'll play in the Windy City as a member of another team. Tom Thibodeau making his return to Chicago as well. Here's Tony Parker, and Parker hits again. He's two for two. Next stop for Tony Parker will be the Hall of Fame when his NBA career is done. Here's Gasol from outside. No, rebounded by Aldridge, and the putback rolls in, plus a foul. Smart play by Aldridge to get rid of that quickly, knowing he's probably going to get grabbed by the smaller defender on the rebound. Well, po uh, Tony initially draws two defenders, kicks it to Powell, who back rims it. You've got two bodies in white jerseys around LaMarcus. But I think his effort on the defensive end of the floor, which was terrific in his first couple of years, but he has played at a high level both ends. Well, he had five 30-point games his first two years, and then, as you said, 10 this year. Aldridge again, and just nobody can handle him on the low block. And LaMarcus has 11 and 8 rebounds in the first half. And on offense, you're shooting 29%. And look at the kinds of shots you're getting. I mean, individual tough shots, fadeaways with 11 ticks on the clock. Aldridge again, an easy two. And a lot of Suns players just throw their hands in the air. Jay Triano calls it timeout. Wow. In Sacramento last week, we were there. That was a one-point game in the fourth quarter. The Warriors blew a lead. It got close, and Golden State pulled away late. As Aldridge gets it again in the paint. He's got 15. Without DeJounte Murray available. Kyle Anderson, he can also play some point. Did that in college at UCLA. Parker short. And LaMarcus Aldridge ends up with the ball. He scores, and he's fouled. And that right there encapsulates the night for Phoenix. Have a chance to get a rebound. They can't corral it, and they give up a basket and commit a foul. Three white jerseys. Ball bounces to LaMarcus Aldridge. You compound the mistake. When you go back 10 years ago, this is one of the great rivalries in the NBA. I mean, these two franchises absolutely hated each other, and that hatred came out in the playoffs often. Well, think Mike D'Antoni, seven seconds or less. Now it's advanced version, right? As LaMarcus Alder just continues to bully these young post players. They've got no answer for the savvy veteran. Warren picks up the foul that time. Well, the paint points just completely dominated by the San Antonio Spurs. I just hope my young friar, Chris Dunn, is returning Friday night. Well, boy, I mean, he was playing so well, Doris, among second-year players. He's, he's leading all second-year NBA players in assists and steals and general managers, but you have Doncic from Slovenia and obviously Marvin Bagley from Duke. Trey Young leading the nation in scoring and assists, Oklahoma. 
Tony Parker hits. But that, that's a reason why, I mean, Cleveland, they're not going to give up Brooklyn. Aldridge, timer at three. Ginobili, 4-3. It's gone. Timeout, Phoenix.